Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to discuss the impact that the rollout of the 5G and our networks are having on the fixed satellite services that are currently deployed in the C-band spectrum. As you can see from this graphic, there's an overlap in the spectrum where the 5G networks are being deployed. This means that two different services are going to have to coexist and operate without negatively impacting each other's performance. An example coexistence issue could be a 5G signal being unintentionally received at the input to a receiver in the satellite system. The 5G signal would enter the receive chain and corrupt the transmission data, either affecting the quality of the data or worst case, causing the transmission link to be broken. So the first question facing the engineering team is, how can I test my receiver to see if it's affected by these new 5G services? So when it comes to coexistence testing, the traditional method would be to use two separate signal generators, each one creating a separate signal, the known good signal and the 5G interfering signal. When you use two separate generators, you do get the job done, but it's an overly complex, overly expensive solution involving multiple combiners, cabling, multiple user interfaces, etc. With the SMW200A from Rory and Schwartz, it contains two powerful but yet separate basebands, which makes it a unique solution for generating multi-tone or multi-types of signals in a single box, ideal for coexistence testing. In that single box, you get two basebands creating these two signals, which are completely independent and can be adjusted however you want to fully test the receiver. Now let's look at the instruments we have here. On the SMW up at the top here, you see we have two basebands. Right now in baseband A, we've got a DVBS 2S signal, and we are transmitting it out on a frequency of 3.84 gigahertz. And down on the spectrum analyzer here, we're demodulating this signal, and you can see the performance that we've got, some good EVM numbers. Now, if we switch to the spectrum view, and you see the traditional spectrum view, you see that we have the DVBS signal. But now we want to add the interference signal. So back on the vector signal generator, I just go to baseband B and I've got 5G and R. I just switch, on it, switch it on. And on the spectrum analyzer be below, you see this 100 megahertz wide signal. So we've now got our two signals. We can go look at the EVM performance. And you see the little clusters in the constellation diagram. I've got a little bit worse because there's more noise present. So that gives us an idea of how the performance is going to change. But we can take that one step further by going back to the signal generator and actually changing the power level of that interference signal. So here on the signal generator, in real time, we can adjust the power level. And as I increase that power level, what you're going to see is the EVM results getting much worse. And you can see the dots getting bigger here, the clusters getting bigger as that interference signal starts to really impact the performance of the receiver. So when you look at this with the SMW, you're really uniquely positioned to have a nice, easy to use solution that's allow you to fully, to fully characterize the sensitivity and blocking test capabilities of your receiver. So that concludes this little video. I hope you found it useful and please visit our website where you can find more information about this product and our other products which are ideal for testing uh, components and systems within the satellite world.